for the tools of the trade. This is what we are going to be using. Uh, we're going to be using Facebook ads. We obviously have to have a Facebook page. Optionally, we can have content automation tools. I really don't use them, but if you want to put everything in autopilot, then you can use some of them and I'm going to show you some. And the next one is obviously content. Uh, those are the main four things that we need to have. And the complexity mainly comes in Facebook ads. Now, I'm going to show you how to create Facebook ads, but it's from all of the things, Facebook ads are the most complicated ones and they're not really complicated. So this is going to be a very easy module and it's pretty easy to grow a Facebook page uh, because with Facebook, you have to have you have to use ads in order to grow otherwise you're not going to be growing at all uh, while in, on instagram you can be growing without ads but on facebook it's different you have to use ads in order to grow so with that being said let's move on and let's go to the next video no reef equals no growth and i talked about this in the instagram module but i want to talk about it again in this facebook module so facebook is a business we shouldn't be forgetting that and what a business wants it wants money it wants profit so basically what Facebook did was they reduced the reach of every Facebook page as much as they could. So Facebook pages are basically obligated to create ads and to use advertisements on Facebook if they actually want to grow. So reduced reach equals no growth, which means no shares, no likes, no comments, and no growth equals no progress, which equals no money. And in the end, basically that creates a lot of pain for everybody that has a Facebook page. So now they decide, okay, I will spend some money in order to grow my page. Uh, and people want to grow their business, so they decide, well, I guess I have to use a lot of money to grow. Well, not a lot of money, but basically this creates a lot of pain for everybody that owns a Facebook page. And that pain causes them to, to think to themselves, okay, then Facebook reduced my reach again, so I probably have to start using advertisements if I want my business to grow. So that's how Facebook makes money. but we are going to play the game. We are going to use money and we are going to play the game the way Facebook wants us to play the game. So basically we're gonna be using Facebook ads to grow as fast as possible. I'm going to show you the secret Facebook page growth tactic. I call it the light speed method. And then we're gonna convert this, uh, those people that, are, that have liked our page, we're going to convert them into buyers, but it's not what you think. It's not, we're not gonna do it the way you probably think we're going to do it. So. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play the game that Facebook wants us to play. And we're going to use ads to our advantage. So meet me in the next video and I'll be showing you how to grow from zero to 5,000 likes overnight. This is what the Lightspeed method can do. It can bring you 2,000 to 5,000 Facebook likes overnight. 14,000 to 35,000 Facebook likes in a week. And that means basically you'll be getting 60,000 to 150,000 Facebook likes in a month. Now. What we do next is where the Lightspeed method will show its power. Let me show you what the Lightspeed method of growth on Facebook is. That means we'll, be, we'll start creating some ads. I'll show you how to create an ad that is going to be giving you 2,000 to 5,000 Facebook likes overnight. And why I'm saying this is because I did it with a page of one of my clients. We basically grew with 3,000 likes overnight and we only used 5 to $10. So I know that this works. I know how it works and I know that it will work for you. So let's get onto it and I'm gonna show you how you can create an ad that is going to produce this type of results. All right, so we are in the Facebook ad manager and now I'm going to show you how to create an ad that's so powerful that, that it will basically be bringing you 2,000 to 5,000 likes every day, which means you'll be getting 14,000 to 35,000 likes in a week. So let me show you what we have to do. First off, we have to choose the engagement objective. Now, when you choose that, you'll have three more choices. Obviously, we want to grow our page likes, so we are going to be using the page likes objective. Now, as you can see, we are in the targeting part of Facebook ads. Now, I showed you somewhat what you have to do here in, uh, in the Instagram module, but I'm going to show it to you again, so you know. So first off, one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're trying to grow their Facebook page is basically they target the countries that are the most expensive ones to target. And when they don't have any social proof and they don't show people why they should be following them, they start losing a lot of money. So this is something I learned from uh, a mentor I had. I was basically taking one of his courses. I had one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with him and so on. And he is basically in the Forbes 30 under 30. So this guy, 
showed me this and he basically told me that when you are just starting out with a page on Facebook, you have to have some social proof. And this is a guy that's done more than 30 million under 30 years old. That's why he's in the Forbes 30 under 30. So basically what we have to do is we have to first gain some social proof before we start advertising to the countries that are that want to buy. So how do we gain social proof at a low price? There are certain countries that when you target, you know, you get results for pennies and I mean maybe even less than pennies. I had ads in those countries. They only costed 0 0.004 cents per result. So that's less than one cent. That's half of a cent for each result. And I've also had ads that the cost of them was 0 0.001 per result. So that means one tenth of a cent. So do you imagine how many likes you can get on your Facebook page, how much social proof you can get on your Facebook page by doing this? So this is our main goal now. The like speed method is basically a method which will show you how to gain a lot of social proof before you start advertising to the countries that we want to, to uh, advertise to so they can buy our product. So what we have to do, if you want younger people, then we're going to target all men and women, so it doesn't matter. You can basically guess them because those are countries that are not the richest countries on earth. So Pakistan, Iran, Indonesia, India, and so on. So we're going to target those countries. India, Egypt, Indonesia. So as you can see right now, Facebook is giving us an estimation of 180 to 1,000 likes per day. Now we should enter our targeting. Let's say we are in the fitness. I'm going to search for fitness. So as you can see right now, I'm here in the targeting and I just targeted physical exercise and physical. Now there is a category over here that says fitness and wellness and I can click on it. Other interests that are in the same category. So. So as you can see right now, our targeting, let's see the, at the suggestions again. We want to make it a bit bigger. Our targeting is at 89,000, so let's just leave it like that. What we can do is edit our placements. So as you can see, if we click on edit placements, you're going to see that Facebook only allows this on feeds. What we can do is only target mobile, because usually when you're targeting mobile, results get even cheaper. So we're going to target only mobile. Our targeting went down a little bit. Let's just leave it like that. And our daily budget, put it at dollars. Don't pay attention to this. This is just an estimate. In reality, it will be huge. Let's just leave it like that. Let's continue. So now we have to, of course, we have to choose a picture. So I don't really have a picture right now. So I'm just going to choose talk image, a uh, fitness. I'm just going to choose this picture confirm. All right, so this is how it's going to look. And you probably see I don't have a lot of likes. That's mainly because I'm not growing this page. I'm growing only my company's page. And over here on the text tab, we're going to type. Like to share the love for fitness and just showing you an example. So now we can leave it like that and we can just confirm the ad, wait for it to be approved. And we're going to start getting a lot, a lot of likes very quickly. With $10, you can probably get 5,000 likes a day. And if you do that for a whole month, yes, you'll spend $300, but 5,000 likes every day for a whole month is 150,000 likes. You have all the social proof you need. And after we have the social proof, we get like speed profits. Now, this is our strategy. First, we gain the social proof, the huge social proof. And then we move on to the next step of the light speed method, which, are, which is the light speed profits part. And in this part, after we have gained a substantial amount of likes, we will start promoting in first tier countries. Now, first tier countries are countries that are a bit richer uh, and that have the ability to pay for more expensive products. Example, United States. And in those countries are where the buyers are. Those are affluent countries and they can afford to buy more expensive products. You have to do this after you have gained social proof because I have tried doing this before actually getting social proof and I was getting likes at around 10 to 15 cents after. I did the social proof thing and I gained a substantial amount of likes in, with the cheap countries. After that, I started one cent to five cents max targeting the United States. It will give you likes a bit slower, but it will make you money. So let's hop over to the ads manager again. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now, after we've run this ad, 
for a while and we've run a ton of social proof. Remember, you should always be testing ads. Remember if you actually run two to three ads just to test which one is better and for which with which one you're getting the cheapest results. After you get the one that you're getting the cheapest results from, you're gonna stop the other ones. So after we've done this and we've tested the best ad and we've gotten a lot of social proof from, from the cheaper countries, same ad with the same targeting, but we're going to change the countries. And if you want to use the same targeting over here, just click here on save this audience and it, you will be able to save the audience. And then you can go here and click on use the saved audience. And now we have to choose the top tier countries. Let's just say uh, United States. Think up of any rich country. I'm just going to use United States for an example. So, all right. So as you can see, I have targeted three of the top tier countries, the United States, Canada, and United Kingdom. I'm going to click on continue. We're just going to confirm it again and do it all over again, but with a new set of countries. So this is how, after you've gained a ton of social proof, you can create the same ad and then run it to top tier countries. So now you're going to get a bit less likes, but those likes are going to be from top tier countries. The likes are, are a bit more valuable because they are from people who can pay for your products. So that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video talking about types of content. And obviously, the two types of content on Facebook are videos and photos. But I want to show you specific ways in how you can find good videos and photos for your account. Where can you get content from? There are three ways you can get content. Other big names in the niche. So you search for other people in the same niche as you and you just take some of their content and post it as yours. But don't take the content that they have created. If they have posted content that isn't theirs, then you can take that content and also upload it to your page. That means the content isn't copyrighted and you can you can use it. Uh, the next one is YouTube. If you want to search for interesting viral videos in your niche, just go to YouTube. And if you want to search for good looking photos in, about your niche, then go on Instagram. There's three steps to finding great, great content on Facebook from other people. And you have to first find someone in the same niche. Then you have to search for their most liked photos and videos. And then you have to just download it and upload it to your page. So let me show you how you can do that. So first off, I want to show you the website which we are going to use in order to download videos from Facebook. This is the website fbdown.net. So now let me show you how do we find good content. I'm going to search for, uh, let's say we are still in the fitness niche. Now we want to search bodybuilding page from which we can get content. So I just type building motivation in the search bar and then I clicked on pages and now we can find a lot of interesting pages. As you can see, this one has 1.3 million likes and you can build a following like that in a year with the methods that I showed you. So anyways, let's go into the page. So let's say you're in the fitness niche. Now you can download this picture of The Rock, download this picture of Arnold. You can download this picture of Phil Heath. You can now, as you can see, this is a viral video. So tag a friend with imaginary lat syndrome. There are two ways we can share this content on our on our page. We can click here on share and then we can click on share on a page you manage. We can choose our fitness page for example. I created one bar brigade. This is just for example purposes. I'll just share it on our page. But what will happen is their own you're gonna be able to see that we just shared it from another page. And what we want to do is have our own content. So we can just click on the video. And now, as you can see, it's in full, sc uh, it's full screen mode. We can just take the URL, copy it, and then go to fbdown.net, click on download, and it will be downloaded to your computer. Now, what you have to do is just go to your Facebook page and click on share a video. So now, if I want to share that video on my page, I'm going to click on add a photo or a video to your post. Then I'm going to just then I'm just going to select it from my computer and I'm going to upload it. And that's how you create content on Facebook. That's how everybody create con creates content on Facebook. So let me show you other with other methods to get great content. Other ways to get content from YouTube, find viral videos in your niche download it with an uh, you can just type in the google youtube downloader download the video and upload it to your page the same way i showed you so now how do you find viral videos in the in your niche so let's say uh let's say you're, you're in the fitness niche what is what can what is usually viral in the fitness niche funny videos or a guy just lifting very heavy weights so uh, let's say we want to search for a funny video. We just go on YouTube and search 
uh, fitness funny videos and we see the ones that have the most views then we download them and we upload them to our page how do you get content from Instagram uh, mainly you have to search for photos there because Instagram is the best place to search for photos in my opinion don't search for stock photos that you find online it's it's, it's not nice it, they don't look nice uh, so basically you find other accounts in your niche or as I showed you you can also download photos from Facebook uh, from Facebook pages that are in the same niche as you but let's say you want to get content from Instagram you just find the same way I showed you you find a page in your niche you look at their most liked posts most liked photos that means that those photos have some viral uh, some have some virality to, you, to them so now you download those photos and you upload them to your picture and you just type on Google just type in Google Instagram downloader and you can find a downloader that can download Instagram pictures so it's so simple I don't even have to show you how to do it because